Hi, this is a quick tutorial to introduce building a Flex custom component. Okay, let's start by adding a couple of projects to highlight how to link a component into your project. So let's open up a new. We're going to create a new Flex library project. This is the one that's going to hold our com custom components. Let's call this FD components. Just use the defaults. And then we need a test project. So let's create a new Flex project. We'll call this fd underscore test and again use the defaults as a web application. Okay, so we uh, have both components. Uh, this is, uh, or both projects, this is a uh, component library. So if we open this up, there's no source files in it. And by default, a Flex project comes with a, with a basically the default application um, code file. So uh, what we're going to do now is actually go back to our library and add a custom component. Yeah, so, so you may notice that this actually uh, has an error and that's coming from this FD components. There was nothing was specified to be included in the library. That's because we don't actually have one yet. So what we're going to include is a default button group. Um, this is a, a form element basically maybe that uh, you may find useful to, to to use on multiple forms or on multiple dialogues and it's basically a, a link button cancel and a default OK button. This is really very simple and it allows us to create it visually. So let's go and just do that by selecting um, our uh, library library project and go to new and then do MXXML, MXML component and we're going to create a new uh, default button group. Now you can base it on or uh, subclasses out off of a lot of different objects. So if you just wanted to create maybe an extended button type, you could uh, create a button and derive it from a button. Um, we're going to use a canvas because we want to use a few different controls on this on this visual component. So uh, we're going to call this default button group, and uh, we're going to only have it about two. 100 pixels wide and the buttons by default are 22 pixels high so we're going to use that. So uh, let's just click finish and what it has done is it has created a default uh, button group and you notice the error just went away and uh, opened up this, the code file for that. So uh, Flex is nice in that you can either develop uh, visually uh, by clicking on the design button or you can uh, develop uh, via the source code and uh, it really suits your preference. Uh, I actually prefer s coding through the source by just creating, you know, for example, MX, uh, you know, and button and it does a nice little autocomplete and will create it for you. But uh, for, for this tutorial, let's just do this visually so you can see what we're trying to create. Um, so <clears throat> you can already see actually that uh, a custom default button group has been included because that's you know we've already created it and it's auto auto automatically linking into our components pane but what we want to do is actually create something that we can uh, reuse in, in a SWC archive so what we're gonna do is create uh, or drop a link button on here and we're gonna drop just a regular button so let's resize these a little bit and give them identifiable names. So first, let's start with our our default button. Let's call that. Well, I guess just to be um, non or non unique, let's call it default button. And our link button. Let's just call that link button. Uh, let's change the labels on these to be something more useful, like cancel. And uh, we'll call this the OK button. And again, let's go back and change the size. So let's. I don't know, let's make this maybe 175. Oops, sorry, the, the X, that's the width of 175. And we'll just resize this into here. That's too big. About 125. There we go. And then let's just size this out to, I don't know, how about 75. Okay, so there we have uh, a cancel and OK group. And what we want to do now is, uh, first of all, let's verify that this has actually been automatically built. Uh, Flex compiles in the background, so let's save this. And then it quickly displayed that it was building the workspace. So if we go and look at in our bin directory, uh, we have a Flex component SWC file. So the next step is actually to 
um, include that F SWC into our FD test so that um, we can actually use it in the MXM the source file, the MXML uh, source file for the test project. To do this, we're going to go and uh, go to the properties of the, um, the the project here. Oops, can't see it. So let's go project properties, and um, in the flex build path, there is a library path. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a, an SWC file. This is an archived component library. And we're going to reference the, the file that we actually just created. So let's go browse. And uh, I've already got it pointing to the right directory. So we're pointing to that, uh, that uh, SWC file we're creating in the other project. And uh, it's automatically uh, added uh, some nice path for us. So it's OK. So now it's included. And let's click OK. And that has added a reference to the FW Components SWC to our uh, Flex project. So let's go back and open up our uh, FD test MXML file. And this has, let's again go to Design View. So now we have, um, you know, our, our visual designer. And again, we've got the default button group in our Components tab. So let's just drag one out here and, and put it on the, on the file. And voila, there you have it. So uh, it treats it as a group. It in the code, it's referred to as a, you know default button group, and you can modify its position and all that uh, just uh, from the start. So let's let's save this and actually run it. Okay, so if everything went according to plan, we have should have something like this displayed in our browser. And as you can see, this is uh, uh, you know pretty common uh, uh, UI construction where you have a subdued cancel button and a, kind of a, a more prominent OK button. Um, this isn't so interesting. I mean, it doesn't really do anything if we click on them. So let's let's add some code to kind of give you an example of uh, how this might actually be implemented.